this is a, uh, a free body diagram from this John Deere excavator so we can see that the 10,000 force pound force coming uh, from this way uh, or in other words to dig in this uh, place it will seem that it's gonna take about that much uh, amount of force then uh, the uh, what is the required cylinder force so what we can do here is uh, um, let me use another color pen so this is about 45 degree and that's 15 degrees so that's uh, 60 so that will be then 30 degree so we can resolve this force cylinder force this way F cylinder uh, cosine 30 degree and then this way it will be this word force uh, F um, sine 30 degree cylinder sine 30 degree what we can write cosine 60 degree same um, now we need to take the moment with respect to this pivot point so let me make this a little bit bigger so I can so if we take moments with respect to this pivot point moment and the clockwise moment with respect to the pivot point uh, all moment is equal to zero then for this 10,000 pounds it's gonna do a clockwise moment which is minus 10,000 times the distance 12 inches and this is in pound and then this cylinder will do an anti-clockwise which is positive F cylinder uh, sines 30 degree and times the distance one inch and this is equal to zero so if you solve for the cylinder force F cylinder it's gonna be 12 uh, 10,000 times 12 inches 10,000 pounds times 12 inches divided by sine 30 so it's gonna be 10,000 times 12 divided by 30 sine so I got 24 thousand pound force like that so that is the cylinder force uh, develop uh, which is actually asked you to calculate here so cylinder force if cylinder was calculated 24 2400 or 240 kips now it says what class of lever is that that's a fast class lever check the other videos for that so fast class lever and then is is this lever shown uh, within the circle of the excavator mechanically advantage yes or disadvantage yes fast class lever does not have any advantage or disadvantage it's a neutral uh, lever so no advantage or disadvantage it's a neutral lever uh, what is the economic advantage of using this lever system shown within the circle of the excavator um, if if the hydraulic system is expensive or you know um, to it sometimes it's maybe the packaging of uh, uh, how you want to do um, primarily um, it's the packaging that kind of don't allow or allow for use to mechanical lever so the economic advantage would be you know the packaging of the system um, so or um, 
you have enough strong hydraulic system you really don't if you have a weak hydraulic system you probably can use some mechanical uh, lever advantage but if you don't have any 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 other information you could just simply say it's the packaging but if you if the system has to develop uh, more load which is not possible then um, you can use some other type of maybe a second class lever to get the mechanical advantage now let's calculate the pressure and then we'll kind of go back uh, to this question later so pressure is force times distance uh, sorry area so force is two four zero 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 divided by ten inches square pound so this is two twenty four thousand psi which is actually huge pressure uh, some materials even go to yield at this uh, 24 ksi so it's a quite high pressure so it could be um, you know the economic advantage question here a second club lever would be advantages but because of the packaging it's not possible to use that package uh, comment on the pressure huge pressure uh, it's, it will be difficult to design the cylinder like that difficult to design cylinders also pumps that produces that much pressure um, if the system delivers 20 gallon per minute at the blank end of the cylinder of the liver system shown calculate the power of the system so the power that is the cylinder is getting can be calculated as p q by 1714 so that would be 24,000 psi times 20 gallon per minute divided by 1714 so that would be times 20 divided by 1714 that is 2800 horsepower which is a ridiculously high powerful system.